Okay, in this question, the statement told us that a club wants to mix a 20 pounds of candy worth uh, $8 per pound with candy worth $5 per pound to reduce the cost of the mixer to $6 per pound. And the question asks, how many pounds of $5 per pound should be used? Okay, in order to have a clear understanding of this question, I will use on purpose uh, the units here, okay? So, firstly, uh, I will consider the total cost when I combine those candies, okay? So, I will combine 20 pounds. I will combine 20 pounds. Let me just change the color here, just one second. Okay? There we go. 20 pounds times the cost of those 20 pounds, that's it's $8 per pound. And I will combine those candies here. And look, this is a cost indeed, okay? Because as you can see, if you cancel out the unities, this will be the cost of those 20 pounds that cost $8 per pound. And you will combine this cost with the cost of uh, an amount that you don't know at first place. Let's call, for example, Y pounds costing $5 per pound. So if we do that, we have the total cost of this mixture, okay, of candies. But we uh, we are doing this to, redu to reduce the cost of the mixture to $6 per pound, okay? So, some way I need to consider that this should be equal to $6, $6 per pound. But as you can see in the left side, I just have the cost of the mixture. I don't have this kind of unit in the left side. How can we do that? How can we solve? Okay, once I need the price of dollar per pound of the mixture, I just need to divide by the total amount of pounds that this mixture has. That will be the 20 plus y. This means the total amount of pounds of the mixture, okay? So now the left side also has uh, as unity dollar per pound, okay? So everything is in the right is in the right way now, okay? So let's do the calculus, okay? To finish the question. So in the left we have 20 times 8 that it's equal 160 plus 5 times y, so it's 5y, divided by uh, 20 plus y being equal to 6, okay? So once I know that the unity of the left will be equal to the unity of the right, I'm not using uh, unities here, okay, on purpose. So uh, this 6, you can think as 6 divided by 1. You can just do the cross product here, and if you do that, you will have that. Uh, this quantity times 1, it's the quantity itself, 160 plus 5y. And here I have 6 times 20 plus y, okay? So let's continue here. I will have 160 plus 5y equal I will distribute the 6 here and I will have 120 plus 6 times 20, it's 120 plus 6 times y, it's 6y. Um, finally, I will put this, I will leave this 5y here and I will bring this plus 6 to the left side, so I need to change the sign. It was a plus, it will be a minus here. And in the right side, I have 120 minus this 160. That goes to the right side, okay? So in the end, we will have that minus 5y minus 6y. It will be minus y being equal 120 minus 160. 
it's minus 40 so our answer is that the quantity y needs to be 40 okay so we know that we need to combine 40 pounds of that quantity in order to reduce the cost to six dollars per pound okay as the question asks us very good bye bye